Today we want to honor one of our newest Republican environmental champions, Congressman Robert Dole here from Chicago. Just uh, as a freshman, just took a new seat on beautiful Lake Michigan, but someone who's already made a mark champion wilderness issues, and in particular the Land and Water Conservation Fund. So with that, we want to honor Congressman Robert Dole from the great state of Illinois. <laughs> I certainly want to thank you all for what you're doing. Uh, coming to Washington, taking your time, your effort, your energy to come and, and make your issues known up on Capitol Hill. Uh, I will echo uh, some of the comments that have made before. It is absolutely vital and important that you do so. Um, and certainly for the colleagues on my side of the aisle as well. Uh, I am uh, an avid outdoorsman. I'm a scoutmaster and still am to this day. And so I put a very high price on being able to get outside and the fact that we're spending so much time indoors, uh, as the Congressman noted earlier, is something that I think we all need to change. And we have one environment. For me, the Great Lakes are something that I grew up on. I think they're absolutely critical when we look at 95% of the surface fresh water in our country is in the Great Lakes. Um, we need to make sure that we're protecting them for future generations. And certainly something that I am working very hard to do. Uh, conservation and being able to, to make sure that we're Setting aside lands that the public can use for generations to come, I think, is absolutely critical. And so, yes, we're in some pretty tough times right now in Washington, D.C. It is somewhat dysfunctional. And, um, but that doesn't mean, from my perspective, that we don't have the resources to fund our priorities. So when we talk about infrastructure, yes, I think infrastructure is absolutely critical for us going forward. It's great for our economy and something that we need to be able to invest in. We also have to look at the environment as well. So I do believe when we look at, at what's been going on in the last several years in terms of spending and the spending that's gone on in Washington on both sides of the aisle uh, has been such that I think that there is an opportunity for us to be able to tighten our belt and still fund our priorities. And when we look at those priorities today, they're more vital when we look at what are we providing and what are we leaving for the next generation. So are we doing the clean water, the clean air? Um, are we going to be able to have those openlands and the wetlands that are so critical and yet are very underutilized in our communities? So that's also something that we're going to rely on you as ambassadors of the environment to get out and make sure that we're utilizing these very precious areas in our communities and making sure that our neighbors and friends know about where they are and how important they are to all of us. So I'm sure you're, you're sick and tired of hearing speeches, but I do want to let you know how appreciative I am for uh, this recognition and certainly know that, that we've got a lot of work to do. And you do have friends on, on the other side of the aisle as well. So,